Saturday? I think so, I'm, and you know, I'm also very proud of my players today. Um, having, uh, you know, we had a good result last week against Stoke, but going into that, we hadn't been playing well. We weren't picking up points. I think we really turned a corner last week, and we've showed that again today. Um, so very pleased with the players, the performance, and I think we showed a lot of different qualities today. One that we can come to a difficult place, and um, you know, with all the great support they have here, and actually take the ball, play well, create some good chances, and then uh, you know, also deal with a goal going in against us under difficult circumstances. Not feel sorry for ourselves, get on with a job. I think um, you know when the goal went in, it was the least we deserved was that, and then after that we had a, a big chance with the uh, the set play that's come in from Sigurdsson to Urente. I mean he's right in front of the goal. He just didn't make that contact. I think any kind of touch on that that's going either side of the goalkeeper, and you know, we would have won. What was your view of the penalty incident? At the time, I thought um, I looked at the reaction of my players first of all, and they were. You know they were furious about it, so you have to. Th that, that puts a doubt in your mind whether it was the correct decision. Also, the delay between the contact or non-contact and the decision being given. There was there was a you know a brief pause there, which sense, which uh, normally would say there's doubt. The referee said to me after the game, he checked. He was sure what he'd seen. He was just confirming with the assistant. I don't know why I even asked him because he's you know, almost as far away as I was. Um, and then, uh, see, replays show that uh, the player deceived the referee. It's, there's no other way to look at it. You could say he's dangled a leg to get the contact, but he's down before that. He's down before there's any kind of uh, contact. The keeper pulled out of it. Just to clarify, the referee said, to you that he'd seen it clearly because it looks from replays that his, his view somewhat blocked. Yeah, he said he was sure that it was the right decision. Oh, when you say deceived, then the word about cheat, cheat No, I'm not saying that, I say deceived. I'm using the word deceived, that's it. Deceived him. But why is it saying cheat if, you know, if that's what's happened? That's, the, that's just the, the word I've chosen to use, deceived. Yeah, actually, it's like a different question. Why do people not like to use the, the, the word cheat? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a word I would use. I would use it another time, maybe. Just on this occasion, I thought he, he deceived him. Did Lucas say anything about the incident at half time? He was furious. He was furious. He said, um, you know, I've gone down to, you know, get my hands on, on the ball and I can see that now I can't get it. So, you know, I've, I've, I've come away from it and he's, he's, he's gone down before the contact. You've been impressed with the way that your team actually took it to United from the start? Though? Yeah, I'm very pleased with the first half performance, the way we played some really good football, you know, built it from the back. Um, you know, we've got a, look, a lot of good technical players and it showed a lot of confidence to come here and play like that. <laughs> in the ref guess, or in terms of the decision, you think the ref basically guess? I don't know. I know you don't get the opportunity to ask him that, but... Uh, I, I, I just felt there was doubt, so I think I, I don't think he was sure. Were you worried at half time when you came in that the players obviously still furious about if something so clear that that would affect what went on? No, I wasn't. I wasn't worried. Um, you know, it's part of my job to make sure that they're focusing on what's happening next and not what's happened. You can't do anything about that. You can only can try and control or influence what's going to happen when they go back out there. And I think they were. I think they responded well. When you say the referee felt the need to check, even, if, you know, even though he says he was sure, does it make you wonder in a game where the points are so vital for this, the pressure is so big, that you, you would take any sort of chance or decision? I only know myself, and if I'm sure about something, if I'm sure, I don't check with my assistants. I make the decision. That's it. If I'm unsure, and want their opinion or their feedback, then I'll ask them. Uh, Montero lasted all of six minutes, come back, does it look like a hamstring again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, incredible. He's waited very patiently for his opportunities, and you know, it was the first moment he really was able to get on the ball and you know, penetrate down the side, got past a couple of players, got in a good position. 
cross was blocked, corner, so it's a good first impact. And in, in, the, in that action, he overstretched the hamstring and he, he has injured it. It's not the same one he did last time, around Christmas time. It's a different one. How bad it is, I don't know. I don't know. You must be fearing, though, given the way he responds to answering injuries, that could be it. For well, it was a lengthy one last time. But, uh, you know, we have to try and remain optimistic that it's not as bad as that and he'll be back sooner rather than later. Well, we've, seen, we've seen the goal line technology come in. Would you like to see a video of technology for contentious decisions such as that one? Or is it a, a very grey area? Do you think it has to be introduced? No, you know, for me, it's not a grey area. It has to, has to be done. I've said it already this season in my time since I've been here. Where, um, you know, we played Burnley. We played Burnley at home. Um, Cross has gone into the box. Their players handled it. Their player. All our players are saying handball for their player handling it. He gave a penalty to Burnley. Now, a simple look at, uh, at any kind of device sorts that out in you know, less than a minute. I saw in the France-Spain game, they trialled it. With an off there was an offside decision, reviewed it. I think it was 48 seconds. Correct decision was given, boom, move on. It's unbelievable. For me, it's unbelievable in this day and age with the technology we have available um, that the only people that don't get the help are the ones that most need it. We can see it, you can see it, fans can see it, everybody can see it, apart from the officials. It has to be done. And I believe they are taking steps to trial it here and there, but everything seems to take so long. Long overdue. Paul, you, you won a lot of fouls 20, 25 yards out all afternoon. Did you feel that they were finally sort of going to tell and you get something from one of those free kicks? Well, we are very dangerous from set plays. So I always feel good when we, you know, we get a corner or central free kick, wide free kick. Because first of all, we, you know, we practice and we have a fantastic set piece taker in Gilfie Sigurdsson, whether it's wide from a corner or wide free kick or central free kick he practices he practices that's why he's good and then we have um, offensive threats in the, in the box so we're always dangerous from those situations Are you more confident about staying up after a result like today? After a performance oh, I'm confident now uh, more confident because of the way we've performed over the last two games whether that would have been three points four points six points zero points we are playing better and um, there's still a lot of football to be played, though. You know, it's nine points. We got um, you know, two home games. Who knows? Why can't we go and win all three? Why not? Thank you very much.